is Amazon Elastic Compute Cloud. EC2 is the backbone of AWS, and it truly redefines how IT departments operate. Amazon EC2 provides a web service that allows you to create resizable compute capacity in the cloud, so you can instantly launch instances of any size, operating system, and configuration to meet practically every demand. This lesson identifies the features that make Amazon EC2 a truly life-changing service for IT departments. We'll take a glimpse into the future to see how products such as Elastic Beanstalk and Lambda are looking to push the boundaries of IT architecture even further. So what is EC2? Well, we briefly covered EC2 in lesson number one, and I'm sure you're all familiar with EC2 as it's the backbone of Amazon Web Services. Basically, Amazon Elastic Compute Cloud, or EC2, is a web service that provides resizable compute capacity in the cloud. It provides a variety of different options to create your own cloud instances. EC2 instances use EBS volumes on which to store data. You can launch your own virtual servers, Windows, Linux, etc., anywhere in the world on AWS infrastructure to run your applications, websites, databases, and more. So let's take a look at some of the benefits of using EC2. EC2 allows you to increase or decrease your capacity in minutes. You can launch one, hundreds, or even thousands of server instances simultaneously. EC2 offers flexible cloud hosting services. As numerous operating systems and instance types and software packages available for you to launch in just minutes. AWS is designed to be fully integrated with other AWS products such as S3, Amazon RDS and SQS to name a few. The integration provides you with a complete IT architecture solution in the cloud. AWS is unbelievably reliable and secure. AWS operates an SLA a commitment of 99.95% availability. And if they do miss their SLA targets, you are compensated. However, that rarely happens. Also, the use of Amazon VPC means that you can easily create secure and robust networks to run your Amazon EC2 instances. Amazon Web Services are also good value and low cost. AWS charges by the hour, so you only pay for what you use. And the hourly rates are much lower than your existing on-premise infrastructure. In this demonstration, we're going to create a Linux instance and we're going to connect to it. So firstly, we're going to go to the compute section and click on EC2. And we'll get the EC2 dashboard and we're going to click on launch instance. And we're presented with the choose an AMI page, which we talked about in the AMI session. So here are the Amazon predefined AMIs. It says Amazon Linux, Red Hat, Ubuntu, Microsoft, etc. And then here is the My AMIs. We don't have any of those yet, but we're going to do that in another demonstration. Here is the AWS Marketplace where there's software provided by third party vendors and you can search through them to find various things. So here's like the SAP offerings available. And then there's the community AMIs where you could select stuff like Fedora, 32-bit, Instant Store. And there's a whole selection of things there for you to provide. But for this demonstration, we're just going to launch an Amazon Linux AMI. So I'm just going to click on select. And I'm just going to select the smallest instance available, which is a T2 Nano. Now, we're not going to configure it at this stage because we're going to cover that in later sections. So I'm just going to click on review and launch. And this brings us to the launch page. So we have a T2 Nano. It's created a security group for us with SSH access to the port 22. So I'm just going to accept all the defaults here because we just want to launch it and I just want to show you how you can connect to it. So we click on launch. And it's going to ask us about our key pair. 
So we can choose an existing key pair that I already have, or we can create a new key pair specifically for these instances. So I'm going to create a new key pair, which we'll use going forward, and I'm going to call that, as you might have guessed, simply learn key pair. And then I'm going to click on download key pair, because this is the only time I'll get the opportunity to do that. Okay, so that's been downloaded. And then I'm going to click on launch instances. So now our instance is being launched. So if we go back to the EC2 dashboard, we will see that our instance is now being launched. Now, because I didn't do any configuration, it hasn't got a name. So let's just give it quickly a name. Simply learn demo. Click on the tick box. And there we are, so we can just see our instance. Now it says it's running, so if you click on it and highlight it, we can click on connect. And it gives you some instructions about connecting. Now, because I'm on a Windows machine, I'm going to connect using PuTTY. So to do that, we need to do a few things first. So let me leave this screen. Now before we can connect to our Linux instance using PuTTY, we have to convert our key pair that we downloaded from AWS. And to do that, we use the PuTTY key generator. So I already have my key pair saved down on my desktop. So I need to click on ensure that SSH-2RSA is selected. I need to load an existing private key. So if I go to my desktop and click on that, and it tells me that it's successfully imported my key. And now I want to save my private key. Are you sure you want to save this key without a password? Yes, that's fine. So I'll save it to my desktop and I'm going to call it simply learn private key. And it'll save that as a putty private key. And there it is. So there's my key over there with a nice nice hat on it. So then we use PuTTY to connect. So the first thing is we need to go to connection, SSH, authorization, and we need to load in our key pair. So I go to the desktop and there it is, simply learn private key, PPK. So I need to load that in. So now that's going to be our key and give us our authorization. So I go back to session and I'm going to give this session a name, I call it simply learn and I'm going to save it so I can use this going forward. So now to connect I need to know the IP address of my instance. So let's go back to AWS Management Console. Okay so we're in the Management Console and here's our simply learn demo Linux instance and down here we can see our public IP address. So we're going to copy that and we're going to go back to PuTTY. So to connect to PuTTY we need to know the IP address which we've just cut and pasted and we need to type in EC2 user at the IP address and EC2 user is the user that you use to connect to Linux instances. So now we should be good to go so now I just click on open and it's saying this server's host key is not cached in your registry. We have no guarantee that the server is the computer you think it is, which is, you'll see this as a standard message you'll see whenever you connect to an instance you've never connected to before. So I'm going to click on yes, I trust the connection. And there we are. So now we have connected to our instance. So whenever you connect to an instance, the good thing to do would be to sudo to admin, assuming you have that, and run yum update. Yes, and then this way I'll update all the packages on the instance to make sure that you're running with the latest and greatest versions of everything. So it should take a few minutes to run. Okay, there we are. So now our EC2 instance is up and running. And that is how you launch an EC2 Linux instance very quickly and connect to it. In this demonstration, we're going to quickly launch a Windows EC2 instance and show you how to connect to it.
So we'll start with the Amazon Web Services Console. We click on Compute EC2. We click on Launch Instance. And this time we're going to select Microsoft Windows Server 2012 R2 Base. I'm going to select the smallest available. And like the previous demonstration, I'm not going to do any configuration this time. So as you can see, it's creating a security group for us. But this time, rather than allowing SSH access, by default, it's allowing us RDP access on port 3389 so that we can connect via Microsoft Remote Desktop. So let's click on Launch. We're going to get the key pair window again. Now this time, we don't need to create a key pair because we already have our Simply Learn key pair. So we're just going to click on Choose an Existing Key Pair and click on Simply Learn. And I tick this box to say I acknowledge that I have access to this key pair because without this file I won't be able to log on to my instance. And then I click on Launch Instances. It says OK, your instances are now launching. Now here it is because I haven't given it a name again. So let's just call it Simply Learn Window Demo. Just going to copy that. I'll paste it up here. So now we can just see our instance. We can see its public IP address down here, its public DNS. So now our Windows instance has been launched, so we need to get the connection details. So we highlight our instance and we click on Connect. So what we need to do is get the password. And to do that, we click on Get Password, and it tells us it needs to find this key pair, which is our Simply Learn key pair. So I click on Choose File, and on the desktop I have the Simply Learn key pair, and I click on Open, and it cuts and pastes it into here, and I can click on Decrypt Password. So now it tells me, this is the public DNS for the instance, this is the username, it's always administrator, and here's the password. So let me cut and paste the password. And then a nice feature, you can click on Download Remote Desktop File. So I click on that. And there it is. So here's our RDP file. So all we have to do is click on the RDP file, ignore this remote connection warning, which you'll see most times, type in the password for the administrator user. It says it can't identify the remote computer. You'll often see that. So I always tick, don't ask me again for this. Click yes. And now it will start to connect to our Windows instance. So now we can see it's loading up our user profile. And there we are. So now we have launched and successfully connected to a Windows EC2 instance. Hey, want to become an expert in cloud computing? Then subscribe to Simply Learn's channel and click here to watch more such videos. To nerd up and get certified in cloud computing, click here.